Hi everybody, I'm Andy Smith and I'm here today to share with you my experience of declarations. I know a lot of you know about declarations, have heard of them and use them and I just want to tell you about my experience. It started oh, probably a couple of years ago. I went to a training and I had to answer the question, what is holding you back? What's holding me back? And I wrote down, I think we had to write down three, four, or five, I think maybe five, five things. And five things that were holding me back. And then we had to flip that around and make positive statements that would empower us so that we could move forward. And so I went home from that training with these five statements, things like, I'm a great time manager. I'm eager to connect with people. I think clearly and act quickly. And so I had my five statements and I decided that I would go ahead and do what was recommended from the training and start declaring these every day. And so I usually did it with exercise, some kind of physical exercise while I was doing it. And I liked jogging and so I would do my declarations while I was running and gradually over time I put more and more emotion into that would I say with more conviction and, and more strength and confidence I think clearly and act quickly I'm a great time manager and I got more powerful with it and it started to do something to me um, every once in a while it would just create this emotion in me you know truth when you declare truth what that does it, it resonates it vibrates in here and Sometimes it, it brings up that emotion and it would actually, I would get teary-eyed over these simple little things that, that in the beginning it's like all the evidence in my life is the exact opposite of that. How can I say that that's true? But I did. I kept saying it and I, I began to realize that this positive emotion behind those statements was actually the fertilizer that grew those seeds of truth. They became true and my life in, in the past two years has grown and changed and transformed and the, who I am now is so much more than what I used to be. It's just been an amazing experience. And so I would, I would run every day and, and I would say my declarations and it, it did something. It started to open me up. So when I declared truth, and I would feel that and it would resonate and it would be an emotional experience and then I would get another little piece like oh did you know that you were also this and did you ever think about this purpose for you wow and I would write that down and I would add that to my declarations and after a few months my five little statements that took me what 10 to 15 seconds to say became this whole great story about who I was and my mission and my purpose and the things I would do and it took me 10 to 15 minutes to say them all instead of 10 to 15 seconds they just grew and built upon line upon line about who I was and it was really became the most uplifting and powerful part of my day to do this and if you've never done declarations I would recommend that you have an experience like this um, so I would, I would get these little pieces and, and add to it. And, you know, it, I got to the point where I, I looked forward to this every day. What else? <laughs> what else is good about me? I'm, I, would I would run and make my declarations and I would just listen. I would just keep running and listen. What else about me? You know, like, tell me more about my eyes. Oh, I have great hair. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just kidding about that one. Well, actually, though, I do love my hairdo. It is extremely low maintenance and it goes with everything in my closet no worries I love that I recommend this for everyone wait no not my wife in fact I would recommend this for most women but all men yeah great hairdo see it's great uh, okay where was I <laughs> back to my declarations and so yes I would get little pieces and add to it every day of who I was and the other day little thought came into my head that said it's time to up the level 
from your declarations. Huh? What do you mean of the level? <laughs> I'm curious. I'm listening to what? You've been sharing them to yourself, for yourself, for two years. It's time to share them with everyone else. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I don't think so. Because, see, my declarations are my declarations. They're just for me. Yeah? It's time to take it to the next level. Share them with everybody? Okay. I'll do that, but I'm not going to share that one. And I'm going to change this word in this sentence. Red flag, ding, 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 ding. What does that mean? What is that telling me about what I believe? Yes. That was an inspired thought to me. It's time to take my declarations to the next level. Immediately as I thought about it, it became clear to me that there were still some things that weren't getting completely into me because it's all true, right? Why would I hesitate and be uncomfortable with sharing the truth about me to everyone else? It's true. Why would I be ashamed of the truth? Well, okay, I'm not. And I'm going to do it. I'm going to share the truth. I'm not going to change anything. I'm not going to leave anything out. I'm going to share the whole thing that has been developed at this point in time. I'm going to give it all and I'm going to share it with the world because I want to get to that next level. I'm going to be totally 100% comfortable with who I am and you knowing who I am. And it's okay if some of you need to judge me if that's... <laughs> If that's what happened, see, I think that was the fear. Oh, people will think that I can't say that about me. That's way over the top. That's, you're just nuts. That's way out there. Or others who are great mentors and coaches already would say, oh, but that's not enough. Why limit yourself? Well, this is me, where I'm at, where I've evolved and developed to at this point. I'm going to share what I'm at, my intentions, my declarations. My biggest reason for sharing today is not just to tell you that I'm going to do this in the next few days, but to invite all of you to join me. Take your declarations to the next level. Share them with the world. I believe that when we do this, when we share truth, that energy goes out into the world. When we put confidence, emotion, positive, confident emotion behind our declarations, that just sends it out even further into the world. And we know the world needs our positive energy. And so I'm kind of issuing a challenge here for all of you to share this video and share the challenge. I'm issuing a challenge for all of you to make your intentions and your declarations clear to everyone. Go to the next level with your declarations and have that experience and let's like, for 2017, between now and the first of the year, or close around that time, let's give this world a boost of positive energy from all of us. And, and we know that I'm not as good all by myself as when I'm combined with my wife and everything that is great about her. When we combine with other people, it just intensifies and geometrically what is that, logarithmically or whatever that word is, exponentially increases how great we are. We are greater together than we are alone. And so I want everybody, as many as we can spread this word to in the next few days, let's share this challenge and let's all of us be brave and go to the next level with our declarations and let's raise the energy for 2017. Let's do it. I'm going to do it. And I'm inviting you to join me. So hope to see, from, see you and hear from you in the next few days. Let's give 2017 an awesome shot of our energy, who we are. Thanks for listening and spread the word. Let's do this. See ya.